On the eve of Pope Benedict's canonization of seven new saints, including two from North America, two pilgrims to Rome spoke with Catholic News Service about their experiences of miraculous healing. Jake Finkbonner suffered from a form of flesh-eating bacteria. Kateri truly did intercede. I wouldn't be here without her. I remember reading that many of the children in her tribe teased her because of her faith, and but she continued to praise, praise God, and she, had, she made her own rosaries, and she did everything that she could to keep praying for God. The boy's father, Donnie Finkbonner, heard stories about Kateri during his own boyhood. You know, when my mom told us this story, I think it was um, something that you have pride over. Uh, you know, somebody that was, uh, you know, 300 and some years before, her story's still being told. And I think it's come full circle now, you know, with, with uh, the Jake's miracle. And, you know, we're here in Rome um, looking at, you know, history and all the things that uh, this place, you know, being so special and all, all the things that uh, uh, are here. Sharon Smith suffered from disease of the pancreas and nearly died of an infection. I just um, thank Mary, Mother Mary Ann and I thank the Lord that I'm here. She did a lot for the Hawaiian people who had leprosy and I think that people ought to look at her now and know and believe that miracles really do happen. So I believe in miracles, I just thought I'd never be one.